Some of the best chart patterns to trade, such as bull flags, they're pretty simple. As long as you remember that we're trading the underlying cause of why the price formed the structure that it did. And the chart pattern guide that I put together, it goes over some patterns that actually have an edge in the market. And I didn't put a price tag on it, so it's something that you can just click here up on the uh, right-hand corner and just download it and have it on the house. So the pattern I wanna look at today, it's not covered in that free guide, and it's called the anti-pattern by Linda Rashke. So what is an anti-pattern? Well, the anti-pattern, it takes into account a pullback and a momentum move that sets up the pullback. Now I talk about trading pullbacks in this video here, and one thing I mentioned is that we want the pullback in price to be lazy and not strong moves in the opposite direction. So why do we call it an ante? Well, we use that term to establish that we're taking a trade based on the direction of the longer term momentum by using the short term momentum to spot the opportunity. But we're looking at a special type of pattern that's different than trading just pullbacks as a continuation pattern. The anti-trade could be setting you up in the early parts of a trend change that whole picking a top or bottom idea that traders try to do, and mostly people fail at that. But we're not aiming for a complete reversal, but it is always a possibility. Now the anti-trade, what's also great about it, it has a built-in stop loss and take profit guidelines, and that can help set you up with a trading plan, and I'll cover those aspects in a minute. So before we head on, can you just take a second to subscribe to the channel, and maybe after the video, take a second just to comment about what you learned. Now the original way of finding the anti-trade was actually by using the stochastics indicator, and it was set to the following. The percent K is seven, percent D is 10, and smoothing, if it's available on your charting platform, is set to four. Now the anti, it's pretty easy to spot, as we have the orange line, which is the slow line, slopes to the downside. The blue line, the fast line, is crossed to the downside under the orange line and is hooked up towards the slow line. This is the trading opportunity and the pattern that we're looking for. And you can see a few of the crosses on the stochastics here. And although Rashke based the trades on the indicator, adding price action is a pretty solid addition to that. Because we wanna have an indication that the instrument that we're trading has the potential for a strong reversal move. And I don't think anybody should just trade with just one reason to do so. And nothing says reversal more than a market that has found itself in a climatic position. And there are several ways to define this, including oversold or overbought, failure tests. And we can use simple trend channels to give us a heads up that this is a price movement that we wanna watch. Now markets move in a rhythm where the volatility is mostly constant. Nothing too big shows up. And those are the times that opportunities to trade are probably not present. But when we see something new come into the market, we should take notice of that. Now we could trade the ante right from the indicator, which would give you a great trade. Adding in price action and structures will add to your case of building to take a trade. So why would you use price structures and price action? Well, you want to know if there is a reason to suspect that you might get a reversal. The move up in price was three months in duration here without much of a pullback. So when price puts in the first high and pulls back, we do get an indicator ante, but there was no trigger short because there was no hook. We're gonna discuss the triggers later though. The last high on the right makes things interesting as price rallied from the first real pullback in this particular Forex pair. Price ranged and then price ran to the upside from the bottom of the range. Now for breakout trades to have some type of edge, you want to see some type of basing or higher lows into the resistance level. Not seeing that happen, it does not guarantee a breakout failure, but it does tilt the odds towards that. And we get a failure test of highs here and price collapses. I want you to also note that there was a bearish divergence on the indicator and we also get a lower low on the indicator as well. Now price puts in a lazy pullback, a trend line break and they run to the downside. So you can see that the indicator has the slow line making a downward slope along with a fast line pulling back. This is textbook if you wanna use the indicator to find this pattern. 
So what's the profit potential of the pattern? Well, the ante, it falls into the retracement setups, pullbacks. So we can use the same methodology to manage these trades. And I've talked about measured moves in a whole lot of videos and trading tips posts on the blog. And that's what we could aim for when we're trading the ante. You use the target though as a guideline and you wanna monitor for any adverse price action around the profit objective. So you're looking for another leg down in price in this example that roughly equals the first leg. So in this example, you can see that price has completed an A to B equals C to D move in price and it bottomed out. And your stop loss could go a distance above the pivot located at C or you can use the ATR to set your productive stop. But we have to find a way to get into the trade. So a trade trigger. And you could just jump into a trade when the price action appears to be stalling during the pullback. That is a little bit subjective. There are several methods that you can use, including a trend line break, the lower time frame structures, or just buy breaks of highs or selling news lows. And you can also use the hook of the indicator as well. Now this is a chart of corn and it's the four hour chart. And I'm not showing the daily chart here, but it has fallen to support after breaking from a trading range and price rejected at the support zone. We also saw the indicator slope upwards after putting in a double bottom while the market made new lows. Okay. You could see on this four hour chart, the large momentum green candles. And from that, you can infer momentum on the higher time frame. So let's look at types of trade entries here. Price breaks the bottom of the trend channel and is quickly bought back up. That's one. Price is forming a range just below the trend line and below the resistance zone of the range. You can wait for price to break out and buy the close. The top white line is the measured move objective. And by watching what price does in these areas, you can find here that the buyers were running out of steam. And the stop loss is generally around the low of the pullback with a buffer zone to avoid you just being washed out of the trade. So let's summarize a few things here. The anti-pattern, it can lead to a trend reversal, but the expectation should be conservative. We want to see a market that has a reason to snap back and continue. We can use many methods to do this, but watching uh, strong moves in price that uh, we haven't seen before, that is a pretty simple approach. You add a trend channel, that can help, and it'll help you see the break in the rhythm of market action. Look for a strong move against the previous direction and then a weak pullback. And this pullback might need to be inferred from the higher time frame unless you are dropping to a lower time frame to see the action. The one day red candle here in a sea of green is a pullback on the lower time frame. And make sure you use proper risk on your stop loss and don't get greedy. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and we'll talk soon.